Hi guys, today I want to show you two very simple ways to create warp text. The first way is to use the type tool. So now I will just type in some words. For example, I'm going to say music is my life. All right. And of course, you can change the color, the font, the size of your text. And then select them at the top you will see warp click it and then you will see a lot of styles you can just do your own experiments and see which one works best for your text now i'm just going to choose arc and then here we have bend you can choose how you want it to curve and then you have horizontal distortion which means um, how you want it to distort from left to right or right to left and then here we have vertical distortion which means how you want it to distort from bottom to top or top to bottom all right for now i'm just going to change the band click ok so this is the text that we have created and now the second way is to use the pen tool make sure that at the top you have path instead of shape so now i'm going to create a path sorry first in it will be better if you create a new layer and now create a path all right and then i'm going to change to type tool and click right onto the path okay you have to create right onto it you cannot move far away from it okay and just type in again just some random words Okay, so um, because my path is only this long, so I cannot type more words. If I really want to do that, I have to either create a longer path or resize my text. But you know how it works for now. So this is the second way you can make your text follow a path that you have created. But this function does not limit to pen tool so basically just anything with a pass will work so now i can also use this ellipse tool to draw a circle oh sorry i you really have to create a new layer and then draw a circle and again choose the type tool click right onto the path and now you can type in anything you want i love music music is so much fun haha <laughs> okay so this is the three work text that we have created using these two very simple methods so this is today's lesson. I hope you find it helpful. And if you want to follow along, there is a link of this background in the description box. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.